All right. This next one's kind of a, a tougher one here from keep it to yourself. I approached my partner with something I wanted to try. And instead of exploring it, they kink shame me. How do I recover from such a strong reaction? I'm now hesitant to bring it back up. There's a, a saying in the kink world that I love, which is don't yuck my yum. Meaning you might not like my kink or my fantasy or my fetish. You might not, you might be turned off. You might even find it like just like an absolute hard no for you, but you don't get to yuck it. So long as you're not harming anyone else or yourself, or there's full consent if you are, because there's, you know, kink there too. Your your fetishes, your kinks, your fantasies are are welcome. They are normal. Um, and so being shamed for them can be so hard. And it happens yeah. a lot, right? So the opposite of kink shaming would be being sex positive. And that is literally the focus of this podcast <laughs> working on being sex positive so you know it's it's not okay to to kink shame um but i would encourage this person to, to continue being the one who's leading in better communication and um, that's not to say your partner is wrong or bad but you are leading in healthier communication and continue to lead by saying to your partner something along the lines and i would not do it in the moment but this is later when you're feeling connected to say I felt really hurt by your response when I shared my fantasy or my, you know, my fetish um, with you, my kink with you the other day, because it really made me feel like ashamed or like something was wrong with me. And, and I, I don't know if that's what you meant by that, but that's how I've experienced that. And like, I would like to be able to have healthier communication around our fantasy so we can have a better sex life because maybe they're not even aware that they kink shamed you. Yeah, 100%. And I think oftentimes when people shame you, they are projecting something about themselves that there's missing. There's a hole in them. There's something. Cause I, I was shamed a little bit one time for trying sex toys. Part of the issue was, I think I was trying sex toys because I thought the sex needed to be improved or mm -hmm. better. And I didn't communicate that well. I didn't, I, yeah. I did a very poor job of that. And then, but then I also felt like I was made to believe that like, if I was trying a toy or something, maybe something's a little off about me. Why don't you just have normal sex? Do you need sex toys? What is that? And so be right. careful that, you know, when somebody's saying that to you, what are they actually saying? They, they, they're hurting your feelings, but also there might be something missing with them. Absolutely. Or like you said, so, there potentially some trauma. There could be something totally. people shame, hurt people, hurt people. I know it's cliche to say, but uh, no, it's true. people it's who shame, it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's exploring fantasies, totally. exploring role play, exploring kinks is a way to grow together, not apart. Absolutely. Please send in your listener questions. Uh, we sure do appreciate it because um, mm -hmm. you, you can send them in to stormy at lovedeetlab.com. You can send them in to me at toby at marysupply.com. 